Hi, Chris here with the Jeep Talk Show here at Toledo Motor Speedway for the Toledo Jeep Fest hype event. Toledo Jeep Fest 2024 coming up August 1st through the 4th. Here with Andrew, former uh, guest on the Jeep Talk Show. Go and check him out. Andrew, you've got a 2021 Jeep MB here. So uh, good to see you again. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Uh, why don't you tell us what, what you got going on here? So this is a uh, 2021 uh, Wrangler, uh, you know, right from the factory. It had the uh, Sarge green paint, and I, uh, I, really, I wanted to modify my Jeep. Um, so I came up with a crazy idea because I'm a native of uh, Toledo and uh, really uh, enjoy the, uh, the history and the military uh, background, you know, of the, uh, of, uh, the Jeep. And uh, uh, came up with the idea of uh, what if I took parts off of World War II Jeep and tried to adapt them onto the current Wrangler. So uh, yeah, uh, from the front to the back, you know, I took and added on the, uh, the rope on the uh, front bumper. We've got the uh, T uh, latch handles for the hood, the uh, wooden uh, hood block. Uh, added in the uh, markings these are, you know, these are decals, but markings that you would see on a World War II Jeep. Uh, all the Jeeps in uh, World War II started with 2-0. So uh, when I was looking around in different books, trying to trying to find a number that uh, was significant or meant something to me, um, couldn't find anything. But I had seen 205, and when I seen the 05 immediately, I thought of the month of May. So 30 is for the 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 day, 30th. And then 03 would be 2003. So May 30th of 2003 is my daughter's birthday. So that number meant something to me. This number was close to the sequence that was used in 1942 right here at uh, Willie's Overland, but uh, uh, it was never on a Jeep in World War II. Uh, I took in, uh, got the, uh, the mirror, the uh, shovel and the ax and the safety strap that you would see on a World War II Jeep. Uh, stars, you know, that would have been on the side. Uh, then the uh, the different support brackets that would be for the uh, bows. Again, that would be on a World War II Jeep. Uh, obviously, the Wrangler is bigger in size than you know than an MB was, so uh, I couldn't just buy a top and you know attach it to my Jeep here. So. Uh, had to get creative and uh, took and bought some uh, green canvas and actually measured um, a top off of World War II Jeep. Well, I ran the numbers and you know expanded the size and then my daughter and I, we took and uh, sewed this together. So pretty proud of that. Around to the back, then uh, got a uh, pinnel hook. Uh, you would, uh, you again, you would see on a World War II Jeep. Um, jury can canvas water bag again yeah if you went on a World War II Jeep yeah they would have been mounted you know right to the uh, to the back of the of the tub but uh, yeah I can't do that so took and uh, adapted it to uh, attaching it to the um, studs for the uh, spur tire I uh, got the uh, antenna base And again, the uh, the supports for the uh, the bows. Another jury can on the uh, door, like you would see on many of the World War II Jeeps. And uh, again, this is my uh, you know it's a 2021 uh, Wrangler. It's my daily driver. I'm, I'm back to forth to work every day and everywhere, but not in this configuration. So by design. All of these parts, nothing is bolted to my permanently to my Jeep. Everything can be torn off in about an hour and a half or so, as well as then, you know, rebuilt in about an hour and a half. So, uh, yeah, I can keep swapping back and forth for, uh, for my daily driver and then for, you know, shows like this. So, in the future, yeah, I'd like to take and try and add on uh, the uh, uh, non-directional tires and uh, the combat uh, rims. Uh, maybe try and do something with the uh, authentic fenders and then uh, the rear bumperettes and then the, uh, the front bumper off of a uh, World War II Jeep. So yeah, we'll, we'll see if that happens. But my, uh, my objective was trying to be authentic as possible, trying to, uh, you know, put the parts on where they, you know, would belong. So 
So uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty proud of it. Well, thank you, Andrew. Really appreciate your time, and uh, we'll have to have you back on the show. Um, did you talk about what you're doing at Toledo G Fest this year? Uh, so this past uh, winter at the uh, Toledo Auto Show, uh, my daughter and I we came up with a uh, demonstration. So we'll we'll have the Jeep sitting there in the in the Seagate Center and have all of these parts just laying next to the Jeep. And uh, we crank up some old uh, World War II music, and then my daughter dresses up as Rosie the Riveter, and I'm just in a military uniform. I'm the, I'm the doughboy. And uh, we start a stop clock, and it takes us about 10, 12 minutes, and we build, as you see it, we just build it all, and uh, yeah, have a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, thanks again. Look yep. forward to seeing you in a couple weeks. Okay. Thank you. Yep. You're my friend. You're my new friend. <laughs>